Hey everyone, this is Lenny here. Time for a brand new trailer reaction. I'm really interested in checking this out. We're going to take a look at the trailer for the post-apocalyptic musical, The End. And this is a film that is written and directed by Oscar-nominated filmmaker Joshua Oppenheimer. He uh, did things like uh, The Act of Killing and uh, Look of Silence. This stars Tilda Swinton and Moses Ingram and Michael Shannon and George McKay. This is a great powerhouse cast. But basically, it's a musical about a family who is surviving the apocalypse and they get a visitor in uh, Moses Ingram and they just have to deal with it. And I think George McKay's character, I think actually ends up falling in love with her and the family has to deal with the ramifications of that. So yeah, that's all I know about this movie other than it's been getting a lot of acclaim. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this film. Obviously, I'm going to give a review when this comes out, but I'm hearing a lot of awards buzz, especially for Tilda Swinton's uh, performance in this. So I'm really interested in seeing this. This is a musical. I love musicals and I love musicals that do things completely different. If it's off the beaten path, if it's a musical about a subject matter that doesn't seem to make any sense, but they turn it into a musical. Anyways, I'm looking at you, Cannibal, the musical. Any film that does that, I am all in because I just love musicals and I just love any movie that does anything new and different with the genre. So we're just going to get right into this. This is the trailer for the end. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Mom, in the beginning, did you ever consider inviting more people? Who could we trust? We had to think about you. The seconds ticking past so fast. Before you notice are them, they? they're gone. Someone's here. Forever. Can you see how she got in? No. And it's half a mile. This is kind of strange. This, they're like in a. Are they like in Antarctica or something like that? We live here. We must be a family. What about your family? They're gone. So you're, you're alone. When I was little, people came. Sometimes they seemed nice, but it always ended the same way. They'd try and kill us every time. Interesting. I just don't understand why she's here. It's like she has an agenda. An agenda? I don't see what... You don't see. Never feel a storm blowing warm and wet. I'll never see the hills dark and silhouette. I think I like her. But you've never met anybody before. And I know it can't turn back. What if we just left this place? There's nothing out there. You must be very brave, what you went through. This is interesting. This movie looks fantastic, and it looks like it's only taking place in, like, what, three or four locations? We did everything to save you. Or, like, three or four, like, actual sets? What the hell did you tell her? Okay, that was the trailer for the end. And yeah, that looks definitely intriguing. And Neon is having a banner year. Some of the films that they have released this year have been outstanding and tremendous. These guys, uh, as a movie studio, are, are breaking through this year. But this looks to be another powerhouse film from, from that studio. So it looks like that we have this family of Tilda Swinton, George McKay, and Michael Shannon. It looks like a, there, there's some sort of apocalyptic event that happened. It looks like they're living underground, but under the ice. So I don't know where exactly they are. If they're in like 
the North or South Pole or something like that. If if wherever they have to be, like the cold is what protects them or like the ice on top of it them is what protects them. So they're a family living together in this post-apocalyptic climate and Moses Ingram appears. She's alone, she has no family. She doesn't infiltrate the family, but the family believes that she's trying to infiltrate them. And we get, obviously, we're, we're, we're gonna get some socio-political commentary about, you know, outsiders and about immigrants and about, you know, letting people in, especially in a situation like that, especially when you have a woman of color. And so it was always interesting when you see Michael Shannon talking about, we let these people in, but every time we do, they try to kill us. Yeah, I see what you're saying, movie. I see what you're trying to do. So, you know, there's going to be so many dynamics at play, and I definitely see what uh, what Joshua Oppenheimer is is trying to do with this film already. And from, from what I read, I think he actually wrote some of the songs, or he wrote the lyrics for the songs. I don't know who did the um, the orchestration um, for, for the music, but I think he actually wrote the lyrics for, for all of the songs. And I'm really interested in seeing, you know, how the songs are going to play out. And, and it looks like that, you know, these are songs that are going to play out, you know, kind of as a typical movie musical, you know, where we're seeing some dancing, we're seeing some, some choreography in there. So it'll be interesting to see if we're going to get something that's going to play up sort of the fantasy aspect of musicals. And I mean, that's the thing with musicals, you know, things start out sort of realistic and then suddenly people start breaking out in song and that's sort of the fantastical element of it. So I'm interested in seeing if, you know, the music is going to be more fantastical and people are just going to break out in random song and dance or if it's something that's going to feel more natural and people are just going to be singing the way that they're singing and it's just kind of, that's just how it is. And it looks fantastic. We have four powerhouse actors that are involved in this film. Joshua Oppenheimer is a powerhouse filmmaker himself. So I'm expecting great things from this film. I really can't wait to check this movie out. And again, when this film is released, I am definitely going to give you guys a review. It looks like it is coming out at the end of this year, just in time for awards season. But yeah, I am really, really interested in checking this movie out. But those are my thoughts and feelings on the trailer for the end. What did you guys think of the trailer? Share your thoughts, leave your comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get notifications as well. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.